So today I'm going to be exploring why overthinking is keeping you stuck and how to break free. Because, oh my goodness, it really does cause us a lot of issues, doesn't it? Well, thinking in general, <laughs> I think probably causes most of our issues, but particularly overthinking, it creates indecision it creates st stress it ends up we can end up feeling really stuck and my own personal journey was the with this is that i used to literally overthink everything um from uh, from the ridiculously small things like what i was going to eat and what i was going to wear um decisions about work decisions about my family just just everything i mean i don't know why i'm listing them because <laughs> It's literally, literally just everything. And I think I think there's something for me about the kind of valuing of the intellect. It, it you know, having been brought up in um that kind of environment where intellect was really valued, you know, I was in inverted commas, a bright girl, you know. <laughs> I'm one of them. Um I feel there was quite a lot of expectation on me in terms of academia. I don't really know where that came from, but it felt like it was there. And and so thinking and using the mind was was so important, really important. And, and maybe you can relate to that. Maybe you can relate to it feeling really important to use our minds and use them well. Now, absolutely. We need to use our minds well. The fact that I can do this video in the way I'm doing it and share it where I can share it and everything is just part of the wonder, the wonder of the human mind and what it can actually do, what it can create. You know, the world that we live in now has been created by human beings who have used their thinking in a really powerful way to solve real life problems in the world. And, um, you know, I think we saw that massively accelerate during the covid pandemic you know when suddenly people had to create things that had never existed before and find ways of working that had never existed before and in real time that is what the mind is really really good at what it's not very good at is trying to solve problems that fundamentally don't exist and those can take a lot of forms obviously problems that aren't yet here in terms of the future and probably never will be here let's be absolutely honest but also solving the problems of securing ourselves so for example how how do i get um and this is this is me personally you know let me know if, if you can relate to this one how do i get that person who's behaving in a way that's do my nut <laughs> as it were um, how do i get them to stop behaving that way and spending literally hours like hours and hours like trying to work out how do i get that person to stop doing that you know like internally in my head analyze well and externally poor poor people around me in those times but you know how do i get that person to stop oh my goodness that could send me into a right old spiral of overthinking if they could just stop doing that i could be okay and so with that driver, of course, we we keep going and we keep going and we keep going. And so much energy um, starts to get wasted. And I think that was one of the realisations that I had a little while ago was how exhausted I actually felt after one of these bouts of trying to fix another person or trying to fix a situation or trying trying to secure myself the you know the kind of desires that are underpinned by when I've got x I will feel y are fundamentally unachievable and exhausting and I think overthinking is a massive massive part of that and it's you know the reason it makes us so stuck is that we're generally solving problems that are unsolvable and we're using so much energy on that we're wearing the mind out almost so that we don't have the energy to really focus on the things that we really do want to create in the world 
um, the really things we really want to do. And and where I noticed it was that I would go on one of these like. <laughs> And they called it a binge. Well, it's a binge. It's like a binge of overthinking about somebody else and, and how to fix them. And then I would just be so like, my head would just be, my head would be hurting. I'd feel tired and flat. And then the ability to focus on what I do want, which is, you know, to promote the thriving woman approach, to build a business, to do all of that, to, to help women, um, just didn't get done. Just stuff didn't get done because I was tired, I was exhausted and wound up and really delaying any kind of meaningful action in that way. And you've probably noticed as well, if, if you have a tendency towards overthinking, that it, it brings about, you know, it brings about sensations in the body, which, which can be awful. You know, we can feel anxious, we can feel stressed. You know, the body, the body reacts to that, doesn't it? The body does not like us to be in that. And and we just end up trapped in these almost predictable mental loops. You know, they, they create a lot of self-doubt. And I think that comes from, you know, when we're trying to solve a problem that is unsolvable, well, we can't solve it. And so there's this kind of not feeling good about ourselves you know I've thought and thought about this problem that doesn't really exist because it's me trying to um feel y by achieving x and we we just feel so so full of doubt then and and it really does undermine then when we come to be dealing with something in the real and present moment that the capacity to do that is reduced because there's self doubt We've worn ourselves out with all this going round and round. We're probably feeling tired from the anxiety and the stress in the body. So how does the thriving woman approach really helps with this? Because fundamentally, I think when I when I was caught up in overthinking and things I've saw about overthinking before, they were they were very much tool and technique based. You know, let, let's, you know, let's try and think about how to stop overthinking is just like fundamentally crackers, isn't it? When you think about it, because <laughs> it's that I, I love this quote, the David Baum quote, which is thought creates reality and then says I didn't do that and then tries to fix that reality. That that bit on the end is the bit that I add to that quote, because it does, doesn't it? Like it gets really, you know, we get really wound up um, and then we try to fix that and, and all the tools and techniques that we might try to resolve overthinking can be, um, well, just take us completely in the opposite direction, really, because what we're really doing is adding more thinking into the pile. Now, with the thriving woman approach, we d we're not going to try and fix that. We're not going to do tools and techniques. We're not going to try and resolve things. It's much more about um, changing or shifting or a perspective shift really around thought changing our relationship with thought I, I've touched on a few of those things in this video and that it, it does go deeper than that but it, it's really about starting to have a very different relationship with our thoughts and really seeing there's some very habitual things that that thinking does there's some very um predictable things um i was on something recently where they talked about how boringly predictable the mind actually is that there are you know i know now that there are some people in my life when they message and don't message nicely <laughs> in pretty commas that i have a certain level of thinking about that and and now that i have a different relationship with that it, it can be just a bit more i don't really have to engage with that so much it feels like there's a window of awareness opened up where it seems like I, I that isn't me I don't have to be with that and that's really what we go deep into in the thriving woman approach um it's really about changing our relationship with our thinking not changing our thinking or the quantity of it or the speed of it or any of that it's much more about bringing awareness to what's going on and it is amazing to see how through this exploration of truth and through this aware these awareness raising reflections and activities that it just falls away it just seems to not make as much sense 
to go into those cycles of overthinking. They, they just don't make, they just don't make sense anymore. And that's, that's the journey that we're on. You know, overthinking is one thing that we tackle through the thriving woman approach. Um, we tackle lots of the things where thoughts and emotions are involved behavior as a result of that, of course, too. So hopefully that's given you a little taste of that. Um, it, we, we are not going to resolve it through more thinking. So if you're noticing some overthinking and you're thinking, how can I stop the overthinking? <laughs> Trust me, that's not going to, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. So, um, but there is freedom available. It's, it's not, you're not stuck with it. I had a lovely conversation with somebody the other day who said, am I, am I always going to be like this? And I said, no, you definitely are not. There is definitely um, a direction to look in that can move you away from this kind of stuff. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you for listening and watching and however you're absorbing this. Um, you know where I am if you want to find out more about the Thriving Woman approach. So, uh, yeah, take care. Lots of love and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon.